these people, brother, sister, I'm gonna think I'm gonna name this video. Uh, I thought it meant something, but it meant something else. <laughs> the whole time, my whole life, I've heard this text taught in a different way, in a different light. <laughs> John 6, uh, uh, 28. And, they, and these people had come to Capernaum seeking out Jesus. And uh, they asked so they ask him this question. Then said they unto him, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? <laughs> and then he said, Listen here. Jesus answered and said unto them, This is the work of God that ye believe on him who he has sent. Okay, I'm all, they've always told me uh, when I was coming up, you see there, this is the one thing that you got to do, brother. You got to believe. This is the work you have to do. <laughs> you have to, uh, this is the work of God that you believe on him who he has sent. This is the one work you got to do. You got to believe on the one whom he has sent. But let's read that again and read it slow, brothers and sisters. <laughs> like I always say, I was the slowest reader in my class, and God's using it for my advantage now. <laughs> uh, look, it said, What shall we do that we might work the works of God? Work the works of God. Uh, the preacher would always say, like I said, they said, oh, that's the only, that's the one thing you got to do. You got to believe uh, this. But then he said this, what Jesus, what are you saying? Turn this back around and read it slow. This is the work of God. This is God work. You believe in Jesus? God, it was God that worked in you, both the will and to do his good pleasure, brothers and sisters. He began the good work in you. So that's what it was saying, brother and sister. Thought it meant something else my whole life because of some uh, supposed preacher, supposed uh, a preacher right there that brings you the wrong side of things. See, there, brother, you got to believe. Well, how much believing do you have to, do you get on the belief meter before it's enough belief, you know, that's going to uh, uh, pass muster? No. He said, this is the work of God. This is is the work of God that ye believe on him who he has sent. It was God that, that put that belief in you, brothers and sisters. If you believe it was God that put it in you, you didn't, you didn't muster up any belief on your own. God gave it to you. That's what that text means. Okay, I'll go on to the next text. You know, that's what I believe that text means. That a whole life, of believe, it, I believe I was believing something else. Maybe... Uh, there's some th other things I got wrong and you got wrong that we were believing something else when it really meant uh, something. That takes a burden off me, brother, brother and sister, because God worked that belief in me. I didn't work it in myself. If anybody out there believes, it's because God worked it in you. You know, read it slow. <laughs> but anyway, let me go to the next one. Okay, I want to go to the next one. Did I... Uh, had it taught to me wrong my whole life and believed a story. So uh, this one is in the book of Genesis. Some of my brothers pointed these things out to me. And uh, so I want to uh, bring this one to you and see what you think about this one. Maybe you never saw this before either. <laughs> Over here in Genesis where it says this. But of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For, for, if you eat of it, thou shalt surely die? No. <laughs> for, if, for if you eat of that tree, you, you you're going to die. No, uh -uh. that's not what it said, brother sister. It says this. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. <laughs> in other words, it was a foregone conclusion. God knew that they were going to eat of that fruit. And he says, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. I always thought they, was, they would always say, now if you drink, if they hadn't eaten that fruit, it says, no, it didn't. It said, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Not if you eat that tree, you shalt surely die. No, on the day that you eat it, no, it was a foregone predestined, in my view, of uh, 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 that was our free will. Perfect man had a free will, 
And look what he did. So now that now free will doesn't decide whether somebody is a child of grace. It's the will of God, brother and sister. But anyway, I always thought that this one said, uh, if you if you should eat of that tree, you're gonna die. No, uh, -uh. not if you drink, if you eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. In other words, God knew they were going to eat of it. And uh, that's the long and the short of the matter. Great big difference, brothers and sisters. Great big difference. Look into that one too, brothers and sisters. But I always like to bring something interesting on my little videos that I didn't know. You know, great and mighty things that I didn't know. I didn't know uh, several years back that the uh, earth was not a spinning ball. But that's a great and mighty thing that God revealed to me. And what did you have that you did not receive, brothers and sisters? Who made you the difference from the, from the next person? Oh, God made the difference. You didn't make the difference, brothers and sisters. He made the difference. And uh, he has shown, he'll, you know, I tell you what, you know when people quit, uh, God, you know when people quit learning things is when they, when they have arrived and you can't tell them a thing. And, and it's usually people, Bible thumpers are people that, uh, <laughs> that know it all got a Bible up on their arm uh, that uh, in which I used to be <laughs> a Bible on this one tape recorder under that and a, and a pencil and a piece of paper but didn't do me any good uh, you know <laughs> you had to go back to start you know <laughs> but anyway what, it, what I was trying to say is God will show you something when you find out you don't know nothing you know that's when he'll start showing you things and, you hum and he humbles you and breaks you down. And uh, But anyway, those are a couple of verses that I thought meant one thing, and all the time it meant something else. And big difference on both of them, brothers and sisters. Big difference on both of them. But anyway, I post these two things. I posted that other one, that about three-minute video, because it was uh, talking about... Uh, 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 what was the subject on that first one? Well, I'll, I'll figure it out later on. But anyway, I'll look into it and see if I can find anything else. You know, for some reason I'm doing a lot of videos because it doesn't cost anything extra. <laughs> when they send me a bill, that's the last time you'll see me on, uh, on YouTube. But it's, it seems like it, it's an unending amount of space there. As long as you don't say anything that they don't want you to say, <laughs> they'll keep it up there. And usually things about religion they leave up, which is a good thing, you know. Just don't talk any politics too much or, or interfere with the narrative too bad. But I got other things that I want to talk about. There's a whole lot of other stuff you can talk about except the what's on the news. You can, you can talk about other things and uh, still make use of the uh, YouTube. But anyway, it's a whole lot better than what I used to do was put them on, put <laughs> mail a letter to somebody and tell them what I'm thinking. But anyway, let me get out of here, brothers and sisters. And, uh, We'll see you down the road, hopefully, God willing. Peace and love from us all more down in Alabama.